Canadian driver Stuart Friesen races all over North America in two different types of car on two different surfaces. He's a regular winner in both. This is my sixth year uh, in the Cayman World Truck Series, uh, driving the 52 for Helmar Friesen Racing. And uh, we're here in Daytona. On top of that, we run 50 to 70 dirt modified races all across the Northeast and East Coast. So we get really busy this time of year. In the Truck Series, 38-year-old Friesen is up against a mix of veterans and rookies on their way up the NASCAR ladder. Now in his third year with Toyota, he's hoping to improve on his sixth place finish in 2021. When we started in the Truck Series in 2016, you could run a top 10 and, and still be off a little bit. Now there's 20 to 25 teams here that are capable of winning week in and week out. You got some young kids that are fresh, and then there's a few of us, you know, myself, Johnny Sauter, Crafton, that have been around a couple years in the Truck Series. Ben Rhodes, you know, we've been running trucks together for five years, and it's a little different. There's some skills and tricks you know going to different tracks that the rookies really don't know yet, so that kind of helps. It's like youth and enthusiasm versus old age and treachery, so sometimes it's you with enthusiasm, sometimes uh, the old guys went out. Daytona week is especially busy for Friesen as he's also racing his dirt modified down the road in the Dirt Car Nationals. Super Dirt Car Series Big Block Modifieds, they're purpose built dirt track, oval track stock cars. We run them mainly in the Northeast, New York, Ontario, but it's, it's on the grow. We run with the Short Track Super Series as well. We're into Louisiana now, we run Florida, South Carolina. I grew up in Big Block Modified Racing and I've been lucky enough to, to make a living at it the last 10 years or so. I had a lot of great car owners and that's what we do on, on top of the truck stuff. With Truck Series practice and a dirt modified race on the same evening, Friesen relies on his dirt car crew to ready his car for Lucia while he is on the track at Daytona in his Toyota Tundra. With the truck practice going from 5 till just about 6 o'clock, practice starts at Volusia at 6 o'clock and it's about a 40 minute drive. So we're going to jump out of the truck and just hightail it up the road uh, to Volusia and hopefully make it in time for time trials. If not, we'll tag the back of a heat race and, and try to get qualified and do the best we can over there. The scramble to get from Daytona to Volusia Speedway Park wouldn't be for everyone, but Friesen takes it all in his stride, arriving too late for qualifying, but hoping to get through from the back of his heat to the feature race. Busted ass to get over here, and we just missed time trials, so by like five minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll start in the back of the third heat. I think it's like 10 cars in the heat, they, they qualify five, so hopefully we can get up through there and get in the show. Sure enough, Friesen does make the feature race, thanks to his crew giving him a great race car that he could just hop into. We got such a good group of guys. Tommy Conroy leads the dirt crew and does a great job, and that's what it takes. Well, you got to have a good team uh, around you, and um, you know, I, I believe we got the best here. It wasn't his night in the feature race, but having won two days earlier, it had been a successful week on the Volusia dirt. Back on the asphalt the next day, Friesen finished 16th in a wild truck race that saw half the field wreck at the end. Since then, he's regularly been inside the top 10, switching cars and surfaces, continuing to make him a better driver. They're two totally different animals, but it's really cool. It's neat to be able to do both, and I think it helps my skill set keep me sharper as a driver doing different stuff. Great golfers play every day. I believe it's the same with racing. Uh, the more you do it, the, the better you can be, and then the more keen your, your skill set gets to be.